inside the Spike Bar in Dallas for the CD release party of PPT. So come on, we're going to go try to find the guys and find out what is going down in here tonight. <laughs> hey, Debbie Sexton here with PPT at their CD release party at the Spike Club in Dallas. Uh, how's it going, guys? It's going love a lot. Chilling. Going good. Going real love a lot. So, you know, you kind of got that old school... Susanna Summers, Three's Company thing going. I'm feeling that. Come and knock on our door. Come and knock on our door. We'll be waiting for you. We'll be waiting for you. We'll be waiting for you. Hers and hers and his. Three's Company too. Okay, so who's Mr. Roper? Uh, I'm, Mr. I'm Mr. Furley. <laughs> I'm Jack. That yeah, means Jack, you're... You know, Jack, Jack be trying to... Uh, nah. Jack's a player. <laughs> Jack, yeah. I, I got the little shorts and all that. <laughs> oh, I want to see. I want to see. All right. Hey, let's let's get back to... The Regal Beagle. <laughs> <laughs> let's get back to why we're here tonight. Okay. It's all about you guys. So tell us about your new CD. Uh, oh, snap. It's my man Corey from Black Tide Dynasty. What's up, baby? Hey! Yeah, that's, hey, that's, that's, that's our cool. label mate right there. That's our label mate. Idol Records. Black Tide Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> no pictures, please. The new album's called Love. It's called, it's like Spanish for like three monkeys in love. Like you see this little, this little monkey right here? It's called Three Monkeys in Love. It was made, the, I, the idea came about, man, we, uh, we first logged into DFWHipHop.com. We wanted to be really enigmatic and mysterious, so I came, I went on Google and put in things with three, like three stooges, three blind mice, three blind wood rats and all that, because I'm from the hood, we had rats out there. You know what I'm talking about? So Picnic seen the three, the, uh, see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil, he went it. I, I found three ports on the monkey. You know, you go, you click on Google and you click images, and he did that. And he took it and took the uh, logo and just made it into what you see right now. So when you see the three monkeys, that's a sign. Of, that's an insignia of greatness, of dopeness, of of, of hip hop personified. We sticking our fingers in the ground and turning the atmosphere around with this PPT sound. <laughs> yeah. Word up, baby. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that for a second because one of my favorite songs. Tell me about this. It's about a woman, but you say that uh, you love her dirty drawers. That's so sexy. You, you, you want to pop the pimples off her back? Yeah. What, um, you're in love if you're popping pimples off someone's back. Basically, man, you know what? I'm going to be honest. I don't, even follow, I don't even follow the rules of my own teachings or whatever, but on that song, it's called Work It Out. Let's work it out. And at the end, we was like, man, baby, I do whatever it takes to make this relationship where I pop the pimples on your back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I I I I, won't, I love your dirty drawers. That's like an old school saying. But you love a woman, I suck your bath water with a I, I suck your bath water with a coffee straw. Hey, but you did bring up a good point. It is about a woman, and actually, all the songs in the album are about you know relationships, and that's what we deal with. You know, and in our situation, there are men women relationships, even though we understand there are women women relationships, male male relationships, but we don't address that because. But you know, it's all good. But. <laughs> You know, hey. You know, we're not homophobic <laughs> or nothing like that, but hey. The album well, is obviously, good. if he wants to be Jack on Three's Company. No. Jack was banging butt. <laughs> no, I I'm know. I'm to be but nice you... on radio. Jack was tapping it. That's why, you think we, that's why he had to do that to play like so he can stay in the room with him. I know. And hey, then, it works. As soon as they leave, he be like, trying to sneak in the bedroom. Come on, I'm do boo. Three's Company, too. Bring. I like that little sound. Bring. So, so tell me who your musical influences are. Uh, you... John Tesh. Yeah, John Tesh. Uh, yeah, uh, Stereo yeah. Lab. We like Stereo Lab. Listen to uh, a lot of Stereo Lab. Uh, Peter Gabriel. Burl Ives. We got Burl. <laughs> Carol Channing. Catch Stephen before he converted to Islam. Uh, I like the old I, Dean Martin. I like the, without the Rat Pack. Yeah. Uh, On the, I know y'all. I know y'all thinking we playing, but we really serious, man. We listen to all kinds Thompson of Thompson Twins. Yes, man. Everybody. Duran Duran. Oh, yeah, eighty. Talk, talk. Uh, you can dance if you want to. The can psychedelic do the safety, dance. safety dance. That is like my synchronicity. Do it. Do you, oh, he's getting down with the safety dance. You can dance if you want to. Everybody do the safety dance. If we taking it back with PPT, like he got a song called Waterfall Girl. That's straight 80s. Yeah. The video was just like straight throwback to it's the a 80s. Fun song. Back it's when a fun MTV, song. back before MTV show rap, this kind of video he got for that. Man. Video killed the radio, radio star. star. That was the very first song. It was. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. That's kind of stuff we... What about, what about Digital Underground? Hump, um... Yeah, they were doing... I'm trying to get the voice right. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get the voice right. He said, tickle your rear. That's kind of... Have a neck bone. Uh, just, better, yeah, just grab it in the biscuits. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Okay, hey, so let's, let's talk about the Mavericks song. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you guys have gotten awards the observer has recognized you so how did you come up with the song did you just say hey we want to do something for the mavericks uh -uh. basically my homeboy alan cohen and mike mike from texasgig.com they called us they called us up to say man 
they're holding the contest. We want y'all to do a song and get into this thing or whatever. And we did it and we won. It's just that simple. I ain't gonna make a long story. It's just it was a beautiful thing, man. It opened up a lot of doors and avenues. We got a chance to be on Fox Four and all these good places and talk to these kids Absolutely. and just perform or whatever. Perform man. in yeah. front of twenty thousand people twice. So great. how did you feel? How was that? It was great, my, man. Uh, it was a rush. My scrotum shrunk to the size of a young child. I was very nervous. <laughs> I was scared. Nice. Scrotum. That guy, I tell ya, it's too much sugar for a dime. So uh, tonight, what's gonna go down? It's going down right now, man. They missing yeah, it, man. We're missening it, man. You're it's the listening party for Trace Models and love. But basically, yeah, what we're gonna do? We're gonna let everybody look at the videos. We're gonna let everybody listen to the songs or whatever. Then after that, we're gonna do a, little, a performance that's gonna be so off the hook that anybody watching the show will regret the day they didn't come to this. I'm that's telling right. you, man. We sticking our fingers in the ground. I hope you get some of it on tape. Yeah. We about to go on in a minute, man. Matter of fact, y'all need to come follow us in there, man, because it's about to be As real sick. As a matter of sick. fact, cut to it right now. Cut, cut to it. it. Yeah, let's just do it. You see this? We cut to it. You can see some of the cool <laughs> women, man. Everybody eating shrimp, and they sexy, and they got all these sandals and stuff, man. Yeah, you do, you do get hot chicks and beautiful men in there. I'm a, I'm, I'm I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, I'm here with PPT. We're about to go check them out live right here at Spike in Dallas. Ted crack with the rhyme flows getting you hyped up. Yo, I'm chilling on a Monday night at the Spike Club. Got my man behind the ball. I meant to say y'all. My man on the camera, they call him Steve Paul. Don't want a brawler, I'm rhyming fly. And uh, I'm chilling with the tiny eyes because I've been drinking all night. I bite like a mosquito. This is how you rap when you drink two mojitos. Up at the Spike Club, mad alcohol. I got people around me and they about to brawl. People on the back and yo, they straight smiling. This is real freestyle crack and straight wild. Yo, when I rhyme, there'll be no escape. I could bust a freestyle till you run out of tape. And the tape says stop, hit crack, gets the props. I beat up rappers like blacks get beat by cops. Downtown, this is what thugs do. I shut the game down like they trying to do Club Blue. Mayor Laura Miller, rhyme flows is illa. Y'all make me laugh like that show Barney Miller. I'm trying to feel you, just like a large cup. It's Mr. Head Crack, and I got more than enough flows that you need with a breakneck speed. My rhyme flows get the world. High like weed, I burn down your house and tear down the deed. Bust more moves than Keanu Reeves and speed. 55, this just be live. It's DC TV. Here we just survive. I'm out, man. I've been drinking, man. I'm out. Here. Awesome. <laughs> I love on cue TV, and I like her because she looked like Susie Chapstick. Wow. Okay, stay tuned. Hey, put it in your pipe, cause you own Q Rocks, baby. You own Q Rocks. On Q Rocks. <laughs> on Q Rocks. <laughs> on Q Rocks. On Q Rocks. Check this out, this is head cracking. Right now you watching Q TV Rocks. Yeah! On On Q TV. Oh, yo, what's up? This is head cracking. Right now you're on Q TV. What does the Q stand for? Q, Q host? Q. Oh. Ah, that's how we rolling. Quiet. Shh, it's a secret. All right, don't tell nobody. Clown porn all the way. Clown porn. <laughs>